many point to the phrase here translated the word was with God. Yes. They point to the proston theon mm. with God, mm. right? <clears throat> um, in Exodus 8, mm -hmm. uh, verse 30, as you see here, I hope you can see the yes. Septuagint there. Yes. Let me bring it closer. Some point to the fact that this phrase proston theon is used when someone is with someone else. And mm -hmm. here we, we have Moses. Mm -hmm. And literally, he was praying proston yes. to Yahweh, Theos, yes. uh, Theon in the Greek. Uh, yes. What do you make of that, where the, some are saying that, well, proston Theon yes. in John 1, 1 simulates or parallels yes. this type of language in the Old Testament? My first point is that the word word in the Old Testament never, ever, ever, ever means a person. So I'd forget about Moses right away. Pros ton theon also can be ideas you'll find in galatians that the gospel is supposed to remain pros imas with you same preposition exactly so pros ton theon can equally well do for ideas as in galatians chapter 2 so there's no proof at all that that means that there was one person along with another very much easier is to think of the word as what it always meant in the Old Testament, not a person. And what it means in the New Testament is not just the Bible, by the way. One of the great errors I would like to correct is that the word of God simply means the Bible. It doesn't. In the New Testament, it means the gospel, namely the gospel of the kingdom. That gospel of the kingdom certainly was God's grand idea from the beginning, and it became Jesus. Jesus is a walking wisdom, the walking gospel. That's wonderful. Yeah, it, it would be odd to translate, yes. uh, you know, uh, things like this, like Exodus 8. Yes. Uh, I mean, you don't say Moses was praying with God. No. Um, no. So, yes, the Proston <laughs> Theon is there. But, again, yes. you have to read into John 1.1 1, 1, that yes. the Logos is mm -hmm. a person, a, a yes. human male, no less, by the That's way. That's right. No <laughs> so, need for that. That's too you, difficult. I would say that, logos is what it always means. That's thought. Yeah, that's a form of eisegesis. When I'm reading into so. yes. logos, yes. which if you look at any lexicon, yes, I don't think there is no lexicon that defines logos, which is the Hebrew equivalent of davar, right. as a person. No, no need for that. I mean, it's speech, no. it even means plan in some context. Yes, absolutely. But I don't think there's any lexicon that defines no. logos or tavar as no. a person. So, yeah. 